Keep your head on a swivel, because it's time for the Week 6 edition of CBS 47 Sidelines. Chowchilla and Madera South look for wins in the North Valley, while Bullard and Sanger square off with teams from the Central Coast. Plus, Tulare Union welcomes the Carr family to town. And I'm Julia Lopez here in Visalia with the winners of this week's Game of the Week. Sideline starts... What's up, Central Valley? Welcome to week six of CBS 47 Sideline. Scott Bemis at your service. A lot of Division One teams from the Fresno and Clovis areas with the week off tonight as they get ready for their league openers a week from now. But still, a bunch of good football being played around the Valley tonight and beyond on this Friday night. And we start with our game of the week. 3-1 Porterville, one of the best teams in D4 so far, visiting undefeated Redwood, one of the best in D2. Redwood's Jada Griffith. Crown homecoming queen. Congratulations, Jada. First quarter, Redwood up 6-0. They add to it. Rangers senior running back Diamond Davis. Love the name, love the game. Dives for the pylon, gets in for six. Redwood up 13-0. Now, Porterville without their starting QB, Hector Nava Jr. tonight. So sophomore Adam Dagumin gets the start. Dagumin finds Moses Andrade for the TD. Porterville up 14-13, and that'd be the score at halftime. Panther tick field goal, go up 17-13. But in the fourth now, Redwood senior Ryan Rios to Brian Brown. Nice catch. 20 to 17 Redwood. They go on to win it 34 17. They're a perfect 5 and 0. Oh. Here's Julia Lopez with more from Visalia. Yeah, what a heck of a game that was. The Redwood Rangers start off the season 5 and 0 oh with a 34 17 win over the Porterville Panthers. What a heck of a win. Let's hear it, guys. Yeah. yeah. Coach Kevin Sharton. Kevin, I know you were at Dinuba for a long time. Now you're back at your alma mater. How nice is it just to start out 5-0 in your homecoming season? Well, uh, first of all, it's awesome to be back home at Redwood High School. A dream job, you know, for, for a coach to go back and coach at the alma mater. Um, co coming back here and getting the victory was something special. What is it about this team that you think they could go really far this season? You know, we, you know, we're actually we're still learning right now, so um, it's a process. I know that word's kind of used a lot in the in the pros and the NCAA, but um, it is a process. We still are learning. This team can get much better. Awesome, congrats, coach. And now we have a senior running back. Uh, what is it? Diamond. diamond in the rough. Do you like diamond in the rough or shine like a diamond better? In the rough. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. So diamond, that is an awesome name. How did you even get that name? Uh, my mom named me that. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. I love it. All right, so Diamond, um, you had a couple touchdowns, and tell me about this team. You guys have beat Tulare Western, Tulare Union, back-to-back -back weeks. Um, can you guys compete with anybody in the Central Valley? Uh, it's hard, but I think we can. Yeah, as long as we come together and work together and keep uh, playing hard at practice and just you know keep bonding this team, and I think we can go far. All right, thanks so much, Diamond. And joining me is Hudson Walker. Hudson, it was a slow start for you guys, but what really turned it on in the second half? What really turned it on was our, was our heart. You know, we were down by one point, our coach gave us a good talk, and we just showed up with more heart. Is it tough to face a guy that you haven't seen before? That was their backup quarterback back there, sophomore, young guy. No, it's not really tough. We kind of just do our jobs and see our reads and just do what we're supposed to do. And I got to ask you the same question as Diamond. How far yeah. can this team go? Our team can go pretty far, you know. We'll take it one game at a time, but we have a lot of power. I mean, we'll be coming for everybody. 5-0, and oh, guys! Congratulations to the Rangers. To Tulare we go. The Tribe welcoming Bakersfield Christian, the Carr family, to Bob Mathias Stadium. Darren David, Father Roger, all on the Eagles coaching staff. Yeah, there they all are. 840 left second quarter. Tulare with the ball. Sophomore Jorge Gonzalez to Willie James. Tulare Union up 6-0. Later in the half, 6-0 Tribe still. Gonzalez to James again for the big completion. All right, time running down now in the first half. Gonzalez to James. Another touchdown. Big first half for those two. Tulare Union shuts out the Eagles 18 to nothing. Hey, how about the week Washington Union senior receiver Darius McCray had this week? Four touchdowns, nearly 200 yards receiving, and a win over Hoover. His 4-1 Panthers visiting Reedley this week. And first quarter, watch McCray just trucking dudes. 61 yards, gets a great block at the end here. It's 7-0 Panthers. All right, later in the first quarter, Calvin Urban going to get it this time. And he's going to show that he's pretty good, too. Look at the cut. 
13 yard touchdown run, 14 nothing Washington Union at that point. Not sure of a final score, still waiting on a final score from that game. Hey, just getting started on this week six edition of CBS 47 Sidelines. Coming up, highlights of Bullard playing a big one against Arroyo Grande. As we go to break, though, more scores from around the valley on the Grappetti Automotive Family Scoreboard.